With that being said, just remind everybody that you are listening to Other Than Met Radio. As I said before, tonight's episode is entitled Remember the Rumble. Why, though? Because, of course, we start off talking about politics, but as you know, the great listeners, we talk about a whole bunch of other topics. We just started off the first 10 minutes talking about politics or what's been going on in the world of America. But, of course, we'll be going through our uh, predictions of the Royal Rumble 30th uh, anniversary that's coming up this Sunday on the WWE Network. We'll be also going over our Royal Rumble memories, the best Rumble matches, some of the worst Rumble matches, um, some of the best and worst non-Rumble matches. You can call in as well. And talk, let us know your thoughts on the Rumble, or wrestling, pop culture, movies or TV, whatever's on your mind, at the number 347-677-1862. That is 347-677-1862. Of course, hit us up on Twitter, as you the great fans do, do at tech underscore UTMR. Toph, let them know your Twitter handle. You, you can follow me at Toph Knows Beth. Everton's your queen. You can follow me at on Twitter at Butterfly two zero six. That's B U T T A F L I two zero six. And of course, Saltine. Saltine underscore M M E H. And of course, don't forget, you know, please subscribe to our YouTube page under the Matt Radio. Uh, thank you for all of the new subscribers. Contact us on Facebook under the Matt Radio. You'll see our like page and our group page, so please hit us up on there. Email us as well if you choose to. If you have any ideas or any upcoming guests that you may want to see, uh, as far as in the world of wrestling, mixed martial arts, boxing, all around, email us at under the mat radio at gmail dot com. And don't forget Instagram under the mat radio, all one word. Uh, do you want to announce why I'm doing this? That uh, just had confirmed from him uh, today talking to him. We will have Live 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 tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, none other than former Money in the Bank winner, former Mount Bhutan champion in WWE, former TNA heavyweight champion, none other than Mr. Ken Anderson, better known as Mr. Kennedy, will be joining us tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. However, it will not be on Blog Talk Radio. It will be a Skype live interview. So myself, Sartine, F. Stitcher Queen, Toph, if you're available, uh, we'll be Skyping, if you will, Mr. Anderson. Uh, definitely looking forward to talking to him. He's looking forward to joining us tomorrow. So, of course, same way with Twitter, same way with Instagram, all of our social media plugs. If you have any questions uh, that you want to send us to ask him, and he's open to talk about anything. He's very political, <laughs> so... Politics will be a big uh, subject as far as wrestling, of course, and he's a Green Bay Packers fan. Uh, it's on the board of a uh, vast uh, area of topics. So can't wait to have Mr. Anderson coming on tomorrow night on our Skype account under the Mets radio. Now, that being said as well, we got to give a shout-out to a couple of people. Today is a very special day because five years ago, I know uh, he doesn't talk much at all, but uh, LSR, um, our, our great, uh, what, what do we call them guys, uh, transporters, uh, security, uh, he's great, uh, one of our great cameramen, it's his daughter. Jack of all trades. Uh, yeah, Jack of all trades. <laughs> his daughter, uh, LSP, the light-skinned princess, Elena, uh, turns five today, so we all want to say happy birthday to Miss Elena. I know she's with the four kids of America right now enjoying her birthday. So we here at Under the Mat Radio want to say, Elena, we love you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, hopefully, LSR, um, maybe can try to get Elena call in uh, so she can uh, say some words to her. And, of course, I don't do this often, talk personal. But I want to give a shout-out to my baby, my honey, B. Mel, on uh, her uh uh, her advancement in her career. So I want to give a shout out to you, babe, if you're listening now live, or if you'll be listening to the recorded. I want to give a shout out to you. Love you much and proud of you. On that note, uh, we do want to give a shout out to a uh, very great, great show this past Saturday. EWA Rage in the Cage, uh, packed to the wall, <laughs> literally. Oh my lord. 
It was awesome. It was an uh, awesome <laughs> show. It was uh, e- EWA Superstars. We'll be back on the show uh, very soon. We didn't get a chance to do any um, live interviews due to the time constraints, but I uh, want to give a shout-out to all of the workers, all of the wrestlers, the staff, security guards, everybody that helped make EWA Region the Cage um, a great time. On a good note, Supremacy, the dark horses. I know uh, African falling. Queen very happy about this. Pretty ponies. Yes, uh, I believe they lost. Was, was that correct? Yes, they did. So they lost to the no Oddball um, um, team. Congrats to so, them. So Oddball's new EWA heavyweight tag champions. Dog Horse is no longer the EWA tag champion, so we can't wait to get them back on the show and uh, roast them. And I believe oh, um, Af- Afrocentric Queen did get um, pictures with the losing team. They weren't too happy about it, but yeah. Oh, great job, great job, uh, <laughs> Mr. Jones, who uh, declined to call in and uh, was a coward, but he did tweet us, as you can see on our Twitter page last week. I believe uh, he was successful as well. Nope, he didn't win either. But uh, I will. We are professionals, and uh, we will say that uh, you know if we're wrong, we're wrong, and, and we do have to eat crow. Because, however, uh, Mr. Prince of Pop style, T.J. Sykes, oh God, did <laughs> did what he said he was going to do. That he was conspiracy. Was the it was a little conspiracy, but T.J. Sykes. Was victorious in the 30 man Iron Man cage match, which was a phenomenal match against Desert Storm. Very controversial, very controversial, very. but at the end of the day, his arm was raised. So, shout out to TJ um, Sykes. And uh, still, your EWA heavyweight champion, Mr. Hashtag Pan Anthony, uh-huh. defeating Joe Bagami. So, uh, you know, it, Supremacy was half and half. Uh, they, they, even though they lost uh, the tag, they no longer dog horses are no longer the tag team champions. And Mr. Jones lost. Uh, Pat Hashtag Pat Anthony still remains the heavyweight champion. T.J. Sykes was victorious, and um, uh, we just had to see what happens on March the 11th at uh, 316. Yep. Uh, real quick, since your queen, Saltine, anything you want to add about EWA before we start off? With our first topic. Every match in the cage was super awesome. We had Tony. We had one of the. Um, oh man, it was awesome. Two actually, Pat Anthony climbed the cage himself and dove off. And we had another wrestler, yeah. Tony, um, who. Oh, yeah. Pay homage yeah. to yeah. 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 the great Jimmy Superfly Snooker and doing his famous jump from off of the top of the cage. I mean, if y'all weren't there, y'all missed an awesome show. It was it was awesome. Every every Where match was in the cage. <laughs> Where were you at, Tove? <laughs> Taking with mm-hmm. Tofi there. Tof there? So he I might think be dealing with awesome. technical de- Yeah, I do you know that he uh was dealing with some issues. Um uh you know, like you said they was uh swearing some bad weather, potential bad weather in Atlanta. But uh so mm-hmm. team, your thoughts of uh EWA? EWA it was a fine show, a fine great athlete. Yeah, T J Sykes won a little super kick motherfucker. Um, yeah, he won, but I gotta give him that for that match with Desert Storm. One best top matches in their rivalry. I have to admit that they bought it all mm-hmm. out. Really proud of both of them. Really are. And yeah. that's out of that's out of um K Faith, everyone. I'm really proud of both of them. They really bust their ass. For real. And that was the yeah, last he... of it. <laughs> yeah, do apologize. <laughs> both in the uh, end of their uh, rivalry. Yeah, I do yeah. apologize, fans. Uh, Toph, uh, um line ended up dropping, but uh, Toph will be calling back momentarily. Okay. But yeah, as uh, we give uh, 
credit where credit is due. Uh, you know, I know we don't agree with supremacy in their antics, but uh, great athletes put on a very uh, great show. Shout out to uh, – got to see our good old buddy. Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> got to see our good old fans. Love them at EWA. Mm-hmm. I got to see my good old buddy, Will, with his newborn baby, baby boy, just smiling in the camera, and got to see our good old buddy. It's good to know that Ray – uh, Ray is doing well. Uh, guys, uh, fans who may not know, Leslie and Ray is the fan who was in a wheelchair that the Supremacy did super kick or more with TJ Sykes. But uh, Ray was doing well, smiling, and um, and, and Mikey, Mikey D, uh, who was the uh, special oh, guest. Oh my lord, that, and, that uh, was a surprise. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, Mikey D gave, gave a pretty good, pretty good super kick. Did pretty he ever? Kick. Yes. It was twice, wasn't it? Didn't he yeah, it was. Twice? Hey, he did. Twice. He did twice. And he had him with a chair. <laughs> yeah. But still, I'm I'm not too too happy with the his calling on that match. But if any if anybody doesn't know or already do know that I am the sister of one of the guys. That was in that awesome match. I do give it up to both of them. I love my brother Desert Storm dearly. I, I have much appreciation and much respect for his for what he went through. Even though he scared me half of the time climbing a daggone cage, but um, he gave me the one of the best matches I've seen in a very long time. And 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 I'm very very proud of him. If you're listening, um, does it? You know, I'm giving it up to you. I love you dearly. Good job. Yeah, good job. I want to give a shout out uh, to our fan, of course, um, J N N Jets. Uh, to send us a tweet. Uh, wanted to read your tweet out loud. Thank you for the support as always. Said, uh, been a crazy week. I hope you guys are doing good. Wondering what your thoughts are on Kenny Omega WWE rumors. Thanks. So uh, we're going to answer this question uh, real quick since uh, one of our great fans just sent us a tweet, and then um, we'll talk more about it later on on that segment. Uh, thoughts on Kenny Omega going to WWE. I um, just want to update you guys that currently Kenny Omega's New Japan contract doesn't expire until January 31st which the Rumble is this Sunday, and, of course, the 31st man later. So a lot of speculation. Is Kenny Omega going to join? Is he not? It was kind of cryptic in uh, his answer when he did um, Melt's show, and then he also um, just a little, little cryptic with his answers when he did Jericho. Now, I will say that uh, me being good buddies with Kenny Omega, uh, Kenny Omega is doing a great job. Everybody's under suspicion. Uh, me and Omega's talk plenty of times off air, just, you know, just, about a whole bunch of other things besides wrestling. So uh, I, w- I want to be safe to say no. I think Omega will stay in New Japan. Uh, that's just my guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think um, he's just working everybody, which is great. I know uh, Cena did post a picture of him, I believe, on his Instagram page, I think. No, he tweeted. I'm sorry, on his Twitter yeah. page. And, uh, yeah, no, Twitter. Mm-hmm. Cena, Cena's famous for doing that. He did it with AJ Styles last year, and Styles... But but last year was different because we knew Styles was going to come. We just knew it was going to happen with Styles and Nakamura. But uh, right. my thoughts, I think, I think as much as I would like to see it, because I'm, I'm 50-50, I think to answer your question, Jay and N, that Omega will not be at the Rumble. Omega will stay in New Japan um, for at well, least. You... Uh, what do you think? You... Well, you know how WWE is. They can keep tight lips on some stuff if the internet trolls don't get to it first. But I'm with you. I don't think Kenny Omega is coming. I, I don't see it, even though there's been cryptic postings of, you know, possibly him, him, you know, coming or whatever. But I did see that match when he was in New Japan. It was a very awesome match, but... Like you said, I don't, I don't think he's coming, but you can never, ever know with the WWE. 
It is a uh, it is true. Salty, in your thoughts? Um, well, very complex for me because I'm more of anything can happen in this, in this situation. But you know, I hope he stay more time with um New Japan and like try some other federation. You know what I mean? But if he goes to WWE, that would be a real interesting because he's been talking about, oh, you don't have to be a star in WWE. Like, he's been, like, shit, getting away shitting on WWE. But is he basically going to WWE? Because he's been talking about it. It makes you wonder, like, why he's talking about WWE. He's been talking about WWE for, like, a couple months now, like, a few months now. It makes you wonder, like, if he's really going to do it. It is true. Hey, man, uh, Tofu will be calling in uh, momentarily. So, yeah, that's what I thought. It says Jay and Jats uh, keep – I believe Jermaine is his name. Uh, I know he's a great fan of ours. He's been tweeting us every show. Uh, funny, we didn't know the gender if Jay and N was a female or male. But uh, uh, thank you, Jermaine. Hopefully you don't mind us uh, mentioning your uh, shoot name. Uh, so uh, continue to tweet us as well as the other great fans of us. Tweet us. Call us. DM us, Texas, uh, your thoughts about um, the Rumble coming up and everything else. So, with Kenny Omega, because last night on Monday Night Raw, uh, Raw wasn't wasn't bad. I know a lot of people have been crapping on Raw as of late. I know you mentioned how Raw is boring, Raw is bleach. But uh, I thought Raw last night was decent. Uh, it was a lot better than what it's been the past, I don't know, two, three months. So it caught my attention a few times. Shout out to Joe Cronin, who um, <laughs> said, well, 15 minutes of Raw doesn't help a three-hour show, which which I do agree with. But uh, it was watchable. Uh, I'll, I'll give it that. Uh, and, of course, we'll give get into specifics about Raw in the few. Uh, ever since your queen... Your over thought over overall thoughts of Raw, did you think Raw was do you think it was good? Uh did you dislike it? It, mm, it was pretty good this past week. Um Um Lord have mercy. No, it, it was actually pretty good this past week. I didn't have a problem with it. Um They just need to step it up. A little bit though, because SmackDown is taking over for real. But like I said, it it they it wasn't it wasn't bad at all, but it wasn't top notch though. Okay, so team, your thoughts overall? Raw? Um, it was okay. It wasn't it wasn't that spectacular, but it was okay. Um. Basically, it was basically like getting ready for Rumble. They had Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, they had Undertaker coming out. So they said, oh, so they were just staying there for each other. I think off air, they probably fought and everybody came out. Because, you know, every time when the Rumble show, the um, the, um, Raw, before, you know, before Rumble, something like that, goes, everybody comes out and fight and everything. And they were like, what is happening this Sunday? Oh, my God. He's the only one in the ring. You remember those <laughs> things. But... <laughs> But yeah, it to me it was uh, okay. Raw, it wasn't that special, but it was okay. Like get you ready for it. Actually, it ended pretty good because you yeah. had, um, you know, you had um, Goldberg come out. Then of course, Paul Heyman interrupting him, and then we thinking he just doing his little thing, and then. Of course, Brock Lesnar music hits, and we thinking that he's playing the playing the um, crowd again. And um, here come Brock Lesnar. Oh, comes I know you playing the crowd. Yeah, yeah, and it was funny how um, Goldberg was like, "You gonna come down here and, and be a man and get in the ring with me, boy?" I was like, "Oh my God, if that don't sound like Evan." <laughs> I wonder who Evan is. Oh, my buddy Evan. My buddy Evan. Yeah, if that don't yeah, sound like that, my buddy Evan sounds like that. Yeah, it really is. And um, he went down and walked around the ring, got in, and I'm stand, sitting there like, okay, it's just going to be a face-to-face. It's going to go off like that. 
Man, if I didn't hear the <laughs> the toes gong, and I'm like, everybody was just like, oh my god, the crowd just like went crazy. Lights went out, lights come back up. Undertaker's the man. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care if you're a fan of Undertaker, if you're not a fan of Undertaker. He's the man. Now, where in the world did he come from is beyond me. I know he could not have, I know he could not have been up under that ring for that long period of time without nobody knowing that he was up under that ring. So you tell me where he came from. He was under the ring. Um, that's why I'm, it, huh? So he was he, under the ring. What he, well, he did a real good job of hiding himself up under there without nobody knowing he was up under there. It, 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 um, it, it is a trick to that that they do with, you know, when he, when you know when they had Taker show up from underneath the um, Taker or the Wyatt thing. You know, a lot of times they're already under the ring or they'll sneak them in. They'll sneak them under the ring, you know, during a commercial break. So when, because the people don't know, when you go to a live WWE event, a lot of times, especially like a Raw, um, mm-hmm. or, or uh, especially like Monday Night Raws, even like a, a pay per view, there are times right. where um, you they'll play. Okay, we got Tof back. Uh, there are times when welcome back Tof. There are times when. They like to go out and they'll play like WWE Live. They'll play like a commercial or like a vignette and the lights are out. So a lot of times, what the staff would do is they'll sneak, these you know they'll sneak Sting or they'll sneak Undertaker or, or Bray Wyatt or depending on what arena they're in, they could already be underneath the ring by some kind of um, you know it could be like a, a little hidden area where they could just go underneath the ring. So when the lights go out, all they gotta do is this. <laughs> Come from under the ring and stand, you know, yeah, stand in the ring. See, my you know. thing is, Undertaker's not a small dude. Yeah, the ring's big. It's a big He's area. Big. Just lay down. Just no, lay down. that's not what I'm saying. He a big dude. They got to. They had to do some serious incognito stuff to get him up under the ring, without nobody that knowing that he's up under there. Yeah, you know, it done it. It's, yeah, because a lot of times, and another thing people don't, but people, if you've never been to a WWE event, what they do is they, they change the ring mats a lot. You know, so if you watch the Raw, especially for a three-hour show, they change it at least twice. Mm-hmm. So while the lights go out and there's a commercial break, you're watching a home commercial break and at the live at the arena. So as they're changing the lights, they've done it where they'll sneak them in real quick or put like a drape. You know, they did it with Sting. They did it with, um, you know, sometimes they do it with Bray. So it's possible, I mean, um, some, depending on the arena, sometimes the lights go out, it's pitch black. So how else are they going to know how to get to the ring? Can't use, like, a flashlight because then people know, so wait, that's <laughs> right. wait, that's, that's Undertaker, right. Stinger, or Bray Wyatt. So um, I, I believe I believe it was some y'all. I'd rather keep it an air of mystery how he gets up under the ring, but okay. How many y'all was it Foley? Was it Foley? Was it Foley and Mysterio that told the story where they were under the ring and they ended up falling asleep and almost missed their cue? They ended up falling asleep. Oh, Did you hear that oh story? Lord. <laughs> I heard I never that heard story. story I forgot before. who it was. I it did. Was, I just couldn't remember was, who it was. Uh, was, it, was it Foley? Ray? Somebody, it was recent, was talking to him. I think, it was, I think it was Foley. I think it was Foley. I think Foley mentioned how... He was under the ring. He was supposed to, I don't know, he could have been Mankind or whatever. He was supposed to come from underneath the ring when the lights went out or, you know, or when the lights was on, he was supposed to do a surprise attack. And he ended up falling asleep, and he realized he almost missed his cue by, like, maybe 30 seconds. Hmm. So it, it, could, it could have oh, been Oh, and then... <laughs> Lawyer attack, I'm sorry. I was nah, thinking go, about go. something. Sure. I was gonna say, speaking of Foley, after um, the Rumble goes off, the next five and um, episodes of Holy Foley is coming on. I can't wait. I'm so psyched to see it. Yeah, Holy Foley is a good show. Um, my girlfriend actually is a fan of the show, and some other people that um, you know that they watch it don't they don't really watch wrestling as much. Actually, like the show. Uh, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. 
Yeah. Want to give a shout out to my brother Tony Lawson. Just said uh, today is also Stone Cold Steve Austin's birthday. Ah, happy birthday, Stone Cold! Wait a minute, his in December. His his birthday in December. Is it December? Is it? Somebody... Yeah, it's in oh, December. You know what, Tony? We need to have a talk. Don't 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 <laughs> get me all hyped up. Don't go see Austin's birthday is in December. I didn't know that. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, thank you. Uh, so Thirteen already on it. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. He's a Sagittarius. Yeah, so, got me all hyped up, Tony. Thirteen, so uh, you know, thirteen so sodium levels went up on that one. Thank so, you. Stone Cold is a Sagittarius. Yeah, he is. You know what? He, he's a Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius. Yeah, that, that's why he said he was a Sagittarius. I was going to say, what? What yeah, is that? Yeah, that's interesting. That is too. Trish Stratus, but yeah, that's, December, the, that's the zodiac signs, ever since you're queen. Yep. Yeah, um, it, actually, Tony Lawson, um, look, um, you go back and reevaluate your uh, your stuff. Stone <laughs> Cold's birthday is December the 18th. <laughs> Get me all hyped up. Don't do that again. <laughs> Got me all excited. I want to say happy birthday to him. He just uh he just said uh he just DM'd me and said my bad laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> he got saltine sodium levels going up. Ever since the queen, right. you know, about to get her, about to get her cane, about about, about to whip <laughs> it out on you. Uh, so we we got we got to know Tove as we talk about Zodi, uh, zodiac signs. What's your sign, Tove? I don't know. I don't care about that stuff. Oh, it's your birthday. That's not good. Right. Stay late with Nadia. Hmm? When we'll find birthday? out. You know what? I think oh. so. I think so. I think so. Is a Virgo. I have no idea what that means. Is okay. your birthday in September? What, what, what is your birthday, man? Uh, September fourteenth. Oh, yep. there you go. He's a, he's Virgo. a Virgo. Oh. Yep. So, so what are you? Oh, sorry. We're all into the astro- astrological signs over here. Well, I'm not yeah, old, I don't care. It. I just just a little curious. Yeah, I don't care about <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I think a Taurus on May 11, 1987. So he gave his whole year. Mm. All right. Ever since the Queen, you're a Aquarius. Right? Yep. Mm. Oh man. Um, today is the 24th, right? Yes, it is. No one's birthday is today. Michelle McCool's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, Undertaker's a uh, wife. You know, yes. Toe's favorite. Yeah, we know. Uh, shout out to B Mouse, Team Aries. Uh, her girlfriend's birthday is coming up in March. <laughs> um, Maurice's yeah, that, that's birthday about was Aries, on Saturday. Maurice just oh. celebrated her birthday on Saturday. Maurice. Oh yeah, a Miz wife. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mhm. Uh, <laughs> and then Seamus is on the twenty eighth of January. January. Mhm. Well, I'm a Libra. Shout out to uh, my fellow Libra folk. Stephanie McMahon is a Libra in WWE. I forgot who the other ones were, but uh. You know, just just get to know for just get her fans just to, uh, just curious they do follow that stuff to know about. Uh, we can't mm-hmm. forget LSR is a Virgo and you know he doesn't talk so we had to speak for him. Yeah. Um, with with Raw last night, uh, Goldberg comes out sweating, sweaty mm-hmm. necks, back of his neck sweating and he's bleeding. <laughs> Goldberg okay. shows up uh, out of breath. Bleeding on his head, hitting his head on the door. He always did. Like, over yeah, the old they, they actually mentioned it, um, saying that um, it's a uh, a ritual of him of his. When he's coming out to the ring, he'll hit his head up against the door. So apparently, yeah. something was wrong with that door, because any other time he does that, he you don't see his head bleeding. So apparently, something was wrong with that door. He just can't do it no more. Yeah, true that. Get a certain age, you but can't do the things to do like you did when you were young. I had to do them other times. 
right? Well, I do remember a few times where um where a few times where Goldberg have had like a little little small amount of blood on the seat. Very rare but it's happened. Mm-hmm. Thank you, babe. Uh, Eddie Guerrero was a Libra. I had no idea about that. Thank you. Good old, good old uh, okay. shout out to to the late great Eddie. Eddie G. Uncle Eddie. Uncle Eddie. My bet, well, my so, other best friend calls him Uncle Eddie. Say so Goldberg bleeding on raw, out of breath, back of his neck all sweating. Got a shirt tucked in. He like, had Goldberg, pulled the shirt He wasn't in? sweating. He had poured water on himself before he came out the door. Okay, that. blame it on water, right? He <laughs> water. had water on him when he came. Where were you when he came on? Where oh, I was you? watching. I, I just think yeah, well, he must have he must have missed that because when he came out the door, he was shaking his head from water on it. I like I like to believe he, he might have sweated on body. his way. He might have he might have sweated on his way going down that long behind walk he had to do. That ramp is not that long. Right? If you break it out in the sweat and you walk in. It's not even that far. I see if it's a WrestleMania yeah. ramp, I'm a yeah. slam. That was a long behind walk before he can get to the curtain. He was going around corners. Brock Lesnar didn't break out in the sweat. Taking didn't break out in the sweat. He was wearing all black. Brock Lesnar breaks out in sweat when he takes some damn steroids. <laughs> That's right. That's what I said. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, so he got suspended. Uh, so, mm-hmm. uh, Botchberg, Bot- Grand Daddy Goldberg. Bleeding, out of breath, botching his lines. Oh, my what God, that is so freaking hilarious. I was like, what is going on with him? What is he on? He was botching. He had to do it three times, and he going to blame it on the audience. He <laughs> said, well, see what you got me? Are you see what y'all doing to me? I can't even talk. I'm going to try this for the third time. I couldn't even get that out. Well, like he could just be out of shape. So, uh, <laughs> Toph, your thoughts? Yeah, he's just uh, not in shape. All right, it happens to The Rock, too. The Rock shows up, people give him a pass. And I remember, like, when uh, he came back, um, remember when he was doing his promo off of Cena? He would just be in the backstage, right. and he was already sweating profusely, and he has to pour water on himself. <laughs> I've always wondered why guys do that. The whole, like, pouring, pouring water. Like, yeah, I noticed that, too, like, Roman, like, some dudes just pour water in their hair. Like, why do they do this? Like, it's, it's like to hide the steroid sweat. And, you know, the one that was really noticeable to me, was uh, Shane McMahon. It was like a random SmackDown sometime last year. He was doing a yeah. backstage segment, and uh, it was mm-hmm. like him, Brian. I think they were talking to Alexa or someone, and Shane was sweating like he just finished fucking somebody. I was like, dude, you're just doing oh, like a two-minute promo. He was sweating really bad, man. It's the steroids, dude. So, you know. No, I don't. I don't see. I don't see how steroids mess up your language, though. That's just. I guess them being nervous. Out of breath, you can't breathe. <laughs> um, he says, I don't know, but for him to do it three times, I'm saying something had me worried. I'm like, what are you drinking? What is what is going on with you? And that you had to do it three times, I don't understand. Hey man, at least we know why Lastly sweats. He always wears that headband. I think I, I think yeah, Lastly so thinks. That, <laughs> yeah, I think he thinks the Globe Trotters are going to show up in TNA. You know? Oh well, I think oh, he never wow. got the memo. The Globe Trotters died years ago. So. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. so, so team, your thoughts on the Goldberg boxing, beating, well, Oh well. I think he should really stop doing that. I mean, I know he tried to get to his football day, but he getting old now. Ain't nobody going to try to have a concussion shit. I don't know. Getting hit in the head, keep hitting your head like that, trying to be a tough guy, y'all. We understand you're a tough guy. You don't have to prove that no more. I, I, I wouldn't do that shit. Even if I'm 40, in my 50s or 40, big 40, I wouldn't damn sure do that. Hmm. So, so you're not agree with Goldberg and Lashley uh, Huh. Salt 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 oh, okay. I, I mean, I mean, if if that's his thing, I mean, if that's his thing, that's his thing. But for me, I wouldn't even do it. My damn stuff. So it's just too much. It's just too much going on. And plus, he's bleeding like that. I'm like, yo, you ain't young no more, Goldberg. We understand you do your thing, but like, don't hurt your head, man. It ain't worth it. Now, be honest, guys. 
And we're going to ask the fans to call in or DM us a tweet as uh, some fans are doing it now. How old does Goldberg, Goldberg look? I have his real age right here, but how old does he look? He looks, he actually doesn't, well, if he didn't have the gray in his in his beard, to me he looks like he's in his, probably like his late be 30s, honest, be honest, early 40s. I am being honest. You asked me to be honest, I'm being honest. To me, if he didn't have the gray in his beard and we didn't know how old he was, he looks to be about in his late 30s, early 40s. I'm being honest. That's my opinion. Late 30s and early 40s. Mm -hmm. So how old does Goldberg look? To me, he looks 50 on a dot, just straight up 50. He looks like he's in his uh, late 40s, early 50s. Like when he's just out there, like by, like if, when he's just wearing jeans and a shirt, like when it's just him dressed like himself, he looks 50s. Then when he's in his ring gear and he pours the water on himself and the baby oil and all the pyro and stuff, he looks like he's in his younger 40s. But behind the... The, the pyrotechnics and all that stuff. He just he looks like fifty, fifty one, fifty two. See, so, these see. folks did agree with me on something. They well, hit the forties. I tell you that. I'm gonna say um, late forties to early fifties to late three. Salty much. Even the salty much said it. Means. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. Go work is the tender age of fifty. Uh huh. But now I'm I'm always a fan of Goldberg. I I, I just you know we we interviewed him I believe last year, a great guy. Just I just my worry is that him being in wrestling shape, we don't want him to get injured. Because uh, as me and Tove talked, as we said about the Rock, when the Rock went away doing movies and came back, both times the Rock came back recently to wrestle Cena twice, he injured himself. He tore his uh, I don't know if you can say his butthole, but uh, his um, oh, uh, what was that? His uh, tailbone. Uh, and mm-hmm. he uh, he had a hernia in one of the matches, and the other one he had a hamstring. It, it's like, you know, you're just not, when, you, when you're away from the ring for so long, you're getting highly with shape, you're getting shape to do other stuff. The best way to get in shape is being in wrestling shape and being in the ring. And I'm a big Goldberg fan, so I just hope that he's in wrestling shape, he's actually wrestling behind the scenes, training, so um, he doesn't get hurt. See, like, uh, the first match that Rock had with Cena, it wasn't that bad because it was protected by a lot of things, you know. That first match might as well have just been a, a, a fucking concert. <laughs> it was like the the, the, the the singers sung them out. They were doing the posing. It was the first time we had seen Rock in a while. It was at WrestleMania. They built it up for a year. So that first match, it wasn't that bad. But that second match, I mean, WrestleMania 29 was ass anyway. But if you're bored and you want to torture yourself, go back and look at that second match. Because that second match, there was no pyro. Like, Cena just came out. Rock just came out. The bell just rung. They wrestled, man. Rock was gassed like two minutes in. <laughs> he was gassed, dude. <laughs> His offense was terrible. He wasn't selling anything. Ah, uh, it was bad. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Question. Tech. Okay. Yes. When when they pull certain people away from TV doing the um like an event like with the Royal Rumble or WrestleMania weekend, is it because they might be um put on the show or or what's going on with that? Because you mean like I'm if, uh... just getting you mean like if someone's scheduled to show up at like an indie show and then they like pull out the last minute? Yeah. Yeah, usually that means they're yeah. have obligations to fulfill elsewhere. Okay, mm-hmm. because yeah. I'm reading now that um they said that Kurt Angle has been pulled from five star wrestling event over Royal Rumble weekend. Well, he was supposed uh, to be um we suppose it's a, it's a rumor. So I don't know, but they said he was supposed to have been um, 
doing commentary on the debut episode of the show, which was which also features Ray Mysterio, Drew Graveway, John Morrison, and PJ Black. But he was um, pulled from the show. Well, what I, what I so, will so say is, does that mean that we may see Kurt Angle at the Royal Rumble? Well, we might see him there. I, I, it's funny you said Angle just uh, uh, just said said something this, uh, today. Actually, somebody sent me earlier today that where Angle actually shot down the rumors of him participating in the Rumble match. He said he won't. He's not participating in the Rumble at all. Uh-huh. Um, but right. it doesn't mean that Angle isn't going to be there. You know, he could be on camera. Uh-huh. He could do a segment, and it doesn't necessarily right. mean that. You know, with him with, with when you when when WWE is about this when they announce that you're in the Hall of Fame, what you do is a contract. Mm-hmm. It's like a Legends contract where, you know, you sign the Hall of Fame, they pay you a certain amount of money, you get your ring, and you start doing certain promotions for WWE in certain appearances. Right. So we're pretty much sure that we will see Angle on a Raw, or probably not Sunday, but a Raw or pay per view at some point. So the possibility is that even if Angle doesn't participate in the Rumble, as he said. Um, he wasn't today. Angle could still be at the Rumble this backstage. He could be doing some other promotional work uh, for WWE. And I'm pretty sure, right. as you can see, you know, Kurt Angle is pretty much being WWE 2K18. All right. Um, so, on the topic yeah, of sure. people showing up places, um, even though we're not, we were talking about Raw, but this is, Smackdown, where we found out who the female Luchador was, and she was she so was revealed yeah, yeah. last week. That, and yeah, you saw that Queen. Yeah, you saw that Queen. chance to cover it. And who was a Mickey James? Um, yeah, we can um yeah we can talk about that uh, for a little bit real quick because um, of course here we end the show at nine o'clock. The Smackdown still on for another hour. As that for Tisha Queen mentioned, it was yet, revealed. But, mm-hmm. Yeah, Mickey James was revealed to be, uh, what was her name? I can't remember. I know she was the female luchador that was helping out Alexa Bliss in the match. And they both, both of them attacked um, my girl Becky Lynch. So I'm thinking I'm seeing um, a match between... Mickey James and Becky Lynch at the Royal Rumble, possibly. They're supposed to be uh, announcing a segment for her tonight. Well, Mickey James' segment is announced for SmackDown tonight. And, um, yeah. I already, we already knew that Mickey James came up and she was on NXT. They moved her up to the main stage very quickly. That, that that tends to um, you know that um that tends to happen with you know Mickey James is already a veteran you know she she's mm-hmm. one she's former multiple time a women's champion you know she's main event at Mania you know as far as the female area she's been all over so a lot of times with NXT they bring in the they bring in the veterans they you know get their feet wet you know if you will NXT help out the younger stars and somebody like Mickey James she she did a, did a great job in TNA. Uh, we just uh, was the early, about well, middle of last year. We, uh, we was at, we always had a show on PA. We got to meet and talk to uh, Mickey James and you know see her adorable baby and her um her husband. Uh, she's married to who was in TNA? Uh, not Gunner, Mag Magnus. Um, yeah. Magnus, great guy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So somebody like like Mickey James, it's easy to call them up. Uh, they don't have to prove anything. Just get her to wrestle a little right. bit with the younger talent. She probably was there to give him a little advice and bring her up. Mickey James is always one of my my personal favorite female wrestlers uh, of of the re- of recent history, especially after like Trish. Never was my leader was always okay. I always liked Trish better, but um, I, you know it was revealed uh, to me. It's like okay, whatever. I mean, I, never, I really didn't care. Not the same means. Like okay, Mickey James is here. Hopefully, she can add some kind of um some kind of luster to you, the women's division in SmackDown. I will say I'm more into the women's division in SmackDown than I'm on Raw. Because, I mean, how many times are we going to see yeah, Charlotte and, and Sasha Banks? Yeah, right. So, mm, uh, SmackDown, thank like you. Said, SmackDown is getting a little bit better. 
they're surpassing Raw. So the female talent on SmackDown is actually a little bit better than over on Raw because it's like, it's like you said, Tech, how many times are we going to see Sasha, Charlotte, and, and whoever else, you know, go between us? So I'm hoping that Bailey knocks Charlotte off of her supposed throne of so being like, the um, queen of pay-per-view. So, like, uh, is, is Emma's gimmick like blue balls or something? She keeps saying she's coming, but she never does. Anyone? Oh, yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about um, Emelina? Yeah. <laughs> Emelina, yeah. Yeah. I, you, know a, <laughs> you know what? You know what, so, um, I think like a couple of weeks ago, the, and instead of her saying for me and soon, it said something that she was on her way. You be saying it and then me. went back to and then went then it went back to premiere soon again. I don't know, man. This has Brodus Clay written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> and they, they, they're doing it as a rib. Uh, this is a rib. Uh, M M Elena coming soon. Like, okay, when when is he coming soon? Thank you, um, all the great fans. And now we have uh, fans continuing <laughs> continuing to DM me. Um, Zodiac signs of uh, famous wrestlers. Uh-huh. So, uh, just want to read a few. Uh, thank you, babe. Uh, Randy Orton, Team Aries. He's an Aries. Um, Sting, uh-huh. as I know, is a Taurus, March 20th. So, I think he just, he's on a cusp, if I'm right. Uh, he said, if you saw Team and, and uh, Babe, uh, he's on a cusp. Sting, Sting is a mixed uh, mix of salt. And of Babe Mel. I believe uh, Undertaker's an Aries as well. Somebody just sent me. Um, um, actually, I had me a whole team of um, a whole team of Aquarians, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Um, actually, that would be Maurice, Michelle McCool, Seamus is an Aquarius, Big Show, Victoria, Tommy Dream is an Aquarius, Big Daddy V is an Aquarius. Ricardo Rodriguez. Um, I think it stops on the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think Gail Kim is the last one that would be... Either Gail Kim is the last one that's Aquarius or Brodus Clay. And Carly so, Yeah, somebody... That's cool. Somebody just said, uh, Triple H is a Leo, uh, July 27th. Who cares? No, I'm just joking. Triple H is cool. <laughs> Triple, H, <laughs> Triple H is a Leo. Shout out to my mom, uh, Mama, uh, Mama Tech, who is a Leo as well. And, uh, okay, I'm wrong. Thank you, um, James, and thank you, Abe. Sorry, Sting is not a Taurus, March 20th. He's a Aries. Sorry, I'm, I'm not I'm not too prevy on a... Zodiac sign stuff. But speaking of which, uh, um, shout out to Big Show, Biggie Show, who's now Medium Show, who looked great on Raw last night, who's now down uh-huh. to 396 pounds. Um, look, look really good. They look good. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I don't like the fact that uh, that that daggone um, what is his name? I'm Keep sorry, I'm out jacking when people it. People get big. So I'm jacking it all up. Uh, Things are Pisces. I apologize. See, yeah, I don't know this Zodiac stuff. <laughs> Things are Pisces. I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh, Lord. Really? But uh, I'm not, don't, I don't get uh, a big show with the American flag on his tights, but well, big, big show is, is he's like Mark Henry. He's on the AERP. He's on that retirement plan with WWE. Just downloads whenever they need him, and you know, he'll show up at the Rumble, and he'll disappear again. So, but, February, so they can uh, start promoting a great WrestleMania 33 match of Shaq versus Big Show. <laughs> I know, I know Saltine can't wait for that. Shaquille oh, O'Neal against No, Big not Joe. really. Not really. Even though he's not a Shaq show. I was back in the um ni- in the nineties, like with the Lando Magic and all of them. I was Penny Hall where it was for um all of them back in the day. It's just now it's like, man, just stop, man. 
This this match is a waste of time. <laughs> Shout out to the milkman who just <laughs> inboxed me. Said Shaq Fu is real. Thank you. Oh, Shout out to oh Shaq Fu. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Shaquille and uh, Paul and Shaq doing a what do you call them commercials? Shaq be doing with the the uh, not preparation H the little um what was what's that uh, the little uh, oh, yeah, deodorant spray man. thing. Whatever it is, I don't know. The, the, can't talk. Go bound. Go bound. <laughs> go go bound. Exactly. What? <laughs> commercial. It's commercial. A little shake. Tender. A little to a little shake. That crazy shit. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> so I think we oh, actually shake his commercials with the with the pain reliever stuff. Yeah. Um. Gold bond. Yeah. Um. Go bound. Uh. Icy hot. I'm like, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Tough acting, tough acting. Remember that? Oh, good gosh. John, John Madden doing the commercial. Hey, did anybody see? Uh, did anybody watch this movie? Shaz- what, is, what was it? Um, Kazam. Um, that never happened. Yeah, Kazam. That, that, movie, never happened. <laughs> that movie never happened. Like still, oh, never my happened. Oh god, that was funny. His acting career never happened. Holy crap! I uh, just, just want to give a shout out to you. Uh, some a special. Uh, good buddies of ours Give a shout out to the Lab Ladies Social Club Shout out to you guys Great ladies here locally And be more So shout out to you guys Fans of the show Wanted to give them a shout out As well Giving a lot of people shout outs tonight Yeah huh. So it, it it is it, it is 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time Yes it is uh, I know, it is I know on we're now. talking about a lot, a lot of different things Smackdown Live is on So if you still with us And the Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, The Miz, Maurice, and Daniel Bryan are now on right now doing backstage segments. Yeah, it keeps something rough. It's 8 p.m. Eastern Time now brings us to a weekly segment called The Bleach Report. We will come up with some kind of intro, what have you. We're working on it now of The Bleach Report to bring in the segment. <laughs> on The Bleach Report, got to give a shout-out. Not not sure of of this person's name. But, of course, the president, Donald Trump, Orange Face, whatever you want to call him. Who? Uh, Orange Face, Donald Trump. 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 President. president. Where'd you come from? I didn't say he's he was. I said president face. of the United he's States. Fuck face. Fuck face. <laughs> Thank you, Sultan. <laughs> <laughs> His That's name you. is Trump. I'm not calling him His name is Fuck nothing. Face. That's what his name is. He has no wow. name. He's Fuck Face. <laughs> his name is Orange Face. <laughs> <laughs> orange fuck face That's a good one <laughs> President orange uh, fuck face <laughs> Hey look damn it Okay let me get to the bleach report Let me get on Trump okay, So go on the bleach report On <laughs> for President Trump <laughs> Orange face So I've seen call on him <laughs> I call him orange face Y'all seen call him orange fuck face right? <laughs> And people Actually hashtag and fuck face Hashtag orange face Oh wow Stop it, y'all. Um, <laughs> oh, where did he come from? What the hell? So, at the president's prayer, a uh, breakfast, a prayer service that the president has to do, uh, you know, after inauguration, they're at a Catholic church, so, of course, by custom, all of the priests, well, I'm not sure if they, they had to be priests or fathers, you know, walk past the president and shake hands. Uh, the vi- I will find a video. Shout out to um good buddy of mine, uh, fan of the show, wrestling Ariel Johnson, and uh, my homeboy Reggie, as she posted this on Facebook. The video, as the priest is walking by, orange face, and shaking his hand. Shout out to the black priest who walked past the president, didn't even shake his hand, just walked right past him, <laughs> straight up embarrassed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something well, else. You know what else is embarrassing? Right on by. Mama C, no, she said, who doesn't know the Lord's Prayer? Apparently, she said, did, did he not know that he's supposed to go to all these uh, prayer breakfasts and all these churches and you're just sitting there not saying anything? Yeah, I mean, Mama said he didn't even open his mouth to even to recite the Lord's Prayer. I'm like, okay. You know what's really now. creepy? Don't what? get Mama C started. 
But, uh, hold on, so right. where, where's, where's Mama Salt? Did, did Mama Salt have anything to say about Orange Face um, Saltine? Oh, uh, she has a lot. Of, she says she don't pay attention to that motherfucker. She don't even like the motherfucker. She even wow. predicted this um, early in 2000. She said it would be some kind of stupid motherfucker going to run the country by at least, I thought she it was say, Bush. 2020 or 2018. She said even worse. Mm. She said a celebrity. She said a celebrity. Mm. Another Profit celebrity. She, she gets to her. She freaking gets it. And she, that fuck is crazy. Mm-hmm. That, that's fucking crazy. I was like, whoa. She said Trump is Sorry, a clown. Go. He's a clown. A fucking clown. You get going, uh, go ahead, so real quick. <laughs> What's really weird is his wife. Something's off yeah. with her. Oh um, my gosh. When uh, I'm the only when, one. <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like some pictures going viral. It's showing like uh, I saw this little blog this morning and it was showing like um pictures of different first families like you know bush and his wife obama and michelle bill and hillary you know like you know obama opens the door he you know he takes michelle's hand they walk up the steps together but then like when trump shows up he just gets out the car walks just leaves her behind uh when they did the little presidential dance you know like when you know they're dancing with the wife uh, when Trump, yeah. Trump, and 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 that chick, the, whatever her name is, they do like the fake, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do like the fake UK kiss, you know, like where they where they fake kissing each other on the cheek, like they didn't even kiss. Uh-huh. You know, they they didn't Did even kiss. kiss Did you want to kiss Owen's face? <laughs> but no, here's where it gets creepy, one. though. No, here's where it gets creepy, though. Like they, he doesn't kiss the wife, but then he kisses his daughters like on the lips. He's like, if you pay attention to the body language, like yeah, he, he's very. He's very closy with the he daughter did. and he, what's so and his son. I think that'd be Ivanka because Tiffany, his other daughter, I think that's from Mar- Marlena. I think wait, that's wait, from his first wait, wife, so, and she doesn't so, she doesn't like him touching her. So and, and the Trump, son, Trump. the son tried to hug the mom too, like at the inauguration, like where she kind of embraced her arms and, and like for the son to hug her, and he just kind of looked at her and just sat down. Like there's some there's some like being totally serious like humor aside, <laughs> jokes aside, there's like some serious like I don't I don't know what's going oh, on there. Issues some, going on with some, them? Yeah, something's yeah. off there. I'm seeing like well, like her attitude, her demeanor. Like when she's near Trump, her head is always down. Like she's never looking up. She's never looking at the camera. She's looking down. She's always like in the background. If you if you look at like the other presidents, like Michelle right. and Obama or Bill mm-hmm. and Hillary or whatever, like the wife is always like within close physical proximity of whoever the you know the president is. But like her, she's she's giving off like a BDSM like submissive. There's some like really uh, there's some emotional damage there. I don't know what that is. It's, it's really that disturbing is, looking no, at it. I can I can, talk, I can tell you what that is. All that stuff that's coming out on him about him, how he talking about women, and how he talking about he want to go touch women and this, that, and other, all that other stuff. Rebel. That's what that is. Yes. That's what yep. that is. Rebel. And well, he's embarrassed. Nancy, the first uh, lady, President but Trump. who puts a who puts a naked first lady in, in who puts a naked lady in in the in the first lady seat in the White House. Oh well, I think that uh, Naked is, is, is people sending me. People sending me now. I believe Trump made a comment. Uh, I, I believe a year or two ago about how if his daughter wasn't his daughter, he would date her, and how President uh, yeah. Trump likes golden yep. likes golden showers. So he's kind of on that R. Kelly tip. Wow. Yeah, he did. He's he said it plenty of times, and you could see mm. Ivanka's um, face when he said it. And she just sit there and get this tight smile when he said that. If 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 she wasn't my daughter, I'd date her. What ta- who says that? Who shot up the tightest who says who kissed the son on the mouth? He did, he oh, gave him a birdman on. kiss on raw. Come here, boy. Yeah, that was uh Yeah, it was wasn't good at all. I believe we're gonna have a couple of callers coming in, uh man, people saying they're gonna call. Three oh people boy. just inboxed said they're going to call. <laughs> yeah, give me a second, phone. guys. Calling, y'all. Yeah, three four seven six seven seven one eight six two. Three four seven six seven seven one eight six two. Uh, shout, shout out, out to Lisa the salty, salty mutt. mutt. Mm-hmm. Did, did the salty mutt want to say something? 
Woof. That's what you say. Woof. Max, did you want to say something, dude? Woof. <laughs> no, we didn't want to say it. Not you. Yeah, the saucy mutt. And shout out to you, the angry mutt. Always active mutts. Always barking. Always giving their input into the show. So I know we yeah, I got a. Mm-hmm. I got a shout out. I got a shout out to Tech. What is it? Oh, okay. I'm I'm getting used to this whole relationship thing. Um, my girlfriend's getting on my last nerves. She's trying to binge watch every fucking '90s chick flick in existence, but not the white ones, the black <laughs> ones. So, shout outs to Booty Call and Sprung and Death oh Comedy Jams, How to Be a Player, and all the house parties and every hey, single I'm every watch Sprung again. <laughs> yeah, Sprung was pretty good. I'll give you that one. Well, all yeah. the other ones. Girl. Oh, yeah. And don't forget don't forget Woo. Don't forget Woo. I've always forget about oh, that one. Woo. Yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, God. No, no, yeah, Woo, yes. No Woo? Wow. No. No Woo? Oh, no love for Woo? woo? Okay. Oh, oh, see, yeah, oh that's close. I guess me and you are on this one. Yo. Hey, Wait, okay. I got to ask you all a question, man. This question is actually a really big deal in the black community. Do you count the wood? As a chick flick or a coming of age story? Coming of age. Uh, coming of age. Coming of age. That ain't no. That's not that's no coming of age. Hold on, real quick. Hold on, guys, real quick. I'm gonna bring in a special call. Okay. Oh, sorry. Live, live, oh. live. Uh, my honey, Babe Mel. Welcome to you Under the Mat Radio. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. hey Mel. Hello. What's happening? Hello. Yeah, hey. I'm Salt. What's going on? Hello. Child, Hello. Don't know who's This channel, show is funny, hey. just to let y'all know. I'm gonna say my quick. <laughs> Trump rant, and then I'm done for the rest of the year with this. Yes, he's an orange face. <laughs> First of all, there's some pedophilia or something going on because he does lust after his daughters. That's gross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Melania, you knew what you signed up for. All right. You originally mm-hmm. signed up to be for him to be a sugar daddy, but now you're the first lady of the United States. Can't handle it. You're not about that life. So I don't feel sorry for her at all. You could not pay me to kiss that man, lay in the same bed with him, none of that. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. That's, God. Yeah, I just need him to drink some bleach, please, and then it will all be over, and we'll all be happy. Oh, uh, and don't forget yeah. me, uh, brief fluid on ice. Yes, with a, with a, with a, with a side of antifreeze. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, wow. Well, while we still have you on, babe, uh, and like I said, shout out to the um, uh, to the uh, to to the women we gave a shout out to earlier. So, so mm-hmm. you asked a question about the wood. Now, so said his girlfriend is making him watch all these uh, chick flicks, black <laughs> chick flicks. Okay. Now, so you you asked this: Do you is the wood? A chick flick or chick flick a coming of age story? Now, I say it's a coming of age story. Babe, what do you have to say? Um, I would say a coming of age story because it's not one of those movies like Why Did I Get Married or um, you know those all lovey dovey movies. It's not mm. like that. It's, it's the guys that are in the movie. Yes, they're nice looking, but I wouldn't consider that a chick flick. No. Nope. Mm-mm. Oh, well, That's not a movie that I would like get my homegirls together and go see. Like I watched the movie, yes, but no, something like I guess what's that movie? Love and basketball, stuff like that. That's yeah, like, right. That. Yeah, thanks. Right. Thanks for bringing that up. It's time to All trigger that, some of the know, females, man. I'll choose the brown best sugar. Man, stuff like that. Yeah, that those movies are <laughs> so not that. Okay, but brown so sugar, brown, brown sugar, sugar was better than love and basketball, though. I'll take brown sugar. Yes, I, I'll take that. Too. Yeah, I agree. I agree with yeah, you. Love and basketball wasn't I high. agree with you. Okay. Yeah. Great sound. Okay, mm-hmm. get, can someone explain to me? Like, we still got got you on beat, Mel. Is uh, love and basketball? Omar Apps, this same mustache. Why, why is that? Everyone, every black female loves love and basketball, and they all remember the scene with Maxwell singing to them. But they don't remember any other parts of the movie. Because, I'm going to tell you, that song right there, you shouldn't have to ask that question. That's all I'm going right. to say. Right. I, mean, I, mean, you know, I, I agree what, what, with you on that one. It, it, <laughs> every time, even to this day, I hear that song, it's just like, mm-hmm. yeah, I can't. Yep. It's just, yeah. Damn. Hey, Dad, so, yeah. did you so know Omar why. is like the bane of my existence? 
Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, that song is like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, for, yeah. for, you know, for the fans listening that they may not be privy to the the black chick flicks and chick flicks in general, you know, to to to, to the four kids that starting off a relationship, the adolescents of the world, you know, that may need some education or love and uh, tender time and tender talk. Have a female, have a woman, watch Love and Basketball, and play that scene. Do not have your chick watching Woo. I will not watch Woo. <laughs> right. And if there's any listeners out there that feel like committing what? suicide, watch The Notebook. I'm done. Oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, wait. I got one even better. Watch that movie AI. Ah. That movie was <laughs> garbage. Oh, I hate that movie. Where, 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 I'm done with all of y'all right now. I can't. Where, where, and I cannot where, believe I sat in the movie theater with my homegirl and watched that movie. I was like, really? What, what, what homegirl was that so we can put on blast? Was that my Nancy girl, Kay? Nicole. Oh, shout out to no. Nicole. Damn, she, she, I mean, she just she put bass in that. <laughs> I did. I love you, Nicole, but never again. Yeah, well, well, where, 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 where's Trump? Uh, I'm sorry, where's Chuckster? The Chuckster hates AI. Um, yeah, uh, we hate oh our robot. Oh yes, my God, you know, that's the, another. Yes, fans, we do know the Royal Rumble is this Sunday, start time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We get it, we'll get to it. This 5 is more important. So, no, 5 p.m., yeah. Oh, 5, 5 p.m., it's, the, it's, it's yeah. the pre show. 5 I mean, p.m. <laughs> Yeah, 5, 5 p.m. Is, 5 p.m. Yeah. is the free show. No, actually, um, the actual free show me. is 7, but they have oh, God. Um, Shawn Michaels and um, who, who Billy Z.I. Michaels. Yes, we can see like, Shawn Michaels yeah. bald some more. Five more five. balding. I'm done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yes, Michael in Balding in HD. In HD. Um, uh, shout out to uh, Jamaican Slump, uh, uh, Slump, uh, Ghetto Tony, who's in Jamaica, uh, sent me a DM. Wanted to say, hey, everybody. Yeah. Love a Gucci man. Uh, hello. You get, you, yeah. Shout out to I'm sorry, Efferson to Tim. Queen, uh, you have to go. Everybody has experienced the Gucci ride. Uh, Ghetto Tony is a uh, lover of Gucci man. Not like that. He's not tender, but uh, all his songs are just called Gucci man. All the time. Wow. Being Mel, uh, uh, she's experienced the Gucci ride. I have, you know, uh, Saltine, even LSR. And I, and I never will. <clears throat> Maybe you will. Because I don't deep. want to. Uh, nope. Being Mel, is there any other movies you want to uh, shout out that uh, never happened? I got one more shout out for you, Tech. What is it? Shout out to the Power Rangers reboot where Godar looks like Play Doh. <laughs> Remember Play Doh? Yeah, man. Yeah, Shout out to whatever the, whatever the fuck that movie's going to be. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell in that Megazo. What the hell is that? I can't. Uh, uh, remember remember Connects, the, the, the generic Legos? Remember Connects? Remember them? Yep. Like, if you were there, you didn't have a hey, hey, Shout out to the Putty Patrol from the Power Rangers. Oh, remember my God. I uh, 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 no out of like nowhere that. on loop. Wow. Who? The RKO out of nowhere. Uh, RKO uh, out of nowhere. You know what? We should do that. We, we should do a tally of how many wrestlers in the WWE alone has bald spots with this balding. You got Shawn Michaels and his lazy eye, Luke Harper, Bray Wyatt. Uh, anybody yep, else can y'all think of WWE that has bald Luke spots? Luke Harper. Um, it looks like if I'm looking at it right now, Bray, possibly. Yeah, yeah, Bray's yeah. balding. Hey, did you guys man. know that uh, Bailey has an Illuminati tattoo? Oh, yeah, I was going. Yeah, I was going. I was going. Oh, she that. didn't all. She didn't lost me as a fan. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, R- real quick, guys. Uh, shout out to uh, um, Ron and what I'm middle school with. Says, uh, so does this mean, uh, bro, that Orange Face is a part of the Illuminati? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now said absolutely. <laughs> yeah. If it talks like an orange, if it looks like an orange, it's a Obama, fucking orange We're going to leave that alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's orange. Different topic. Whoa. So. Really? But, and, uh, <laughs> and happy boy, uh, now, uh. Real quick, yeah, real quick, uh, real quick, check. Um, Bray just, um, gave Luke Harper to Sister Abigail. 
Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, uh, any movies uh, <laughs> I want to mention real quick, because we are going to start a new series this uh, coming uh, coming up soon on YouTube called That Never Happened, Boys Like Boys. Oh, yes. That Never oh, Happened. Yeah. Um, I got one. Well, we have my honey on the show. Uh, big I want to go back to the airline have... conversation. Okay, go, go ahead. ahead. I must say, Booker T, he must have just said he he won't get no more. 